Terry Knuth, Mead, Nebraska, uh, raising corn, soybeans, wheat, rotation. Um, been doing strip till since 2005. Um, really changed operation in 2010. Um, work with Kimberly Consulting out of uh, Maxwell, Iowa, and, and kind of introduced me to a different style of strip till. And um, what we want to do is, is do a more uh, deeper tillage, is what I learned, so we can, we can uh, break our compaction and build a berm that we like to, to plant on. And um, it, it takes a lot of work to do that. It's, um, you don't just go out and go. It's what I talked about today was a lot of um, settings. And whether it's you know from the openers that we moved out to the front versus what the way our machine was designed to have them. So, so we want to clear the, clear the uh, residue early. Uh, we want the coulter as deep as the knife. Uh, we, we change colders, we change knives uh, from fall to spring. Uh, we do it in season sometimes, depending on the conditions. Uh, we change the tire pressure to make sure the wings are the level. Um, there's a lot to look for. Um, it's ever-changing. Um, nothing's ever set correctly. Um, I mean, you just, you just have to change constantly. Yeah, I think um, sticking with technology has been one of the one of the huge successes. Um, it's here, um, you know. Tilling soil is one thing, but tilling it correctly, tilling it precisionly, um, making sure you get the right seed bed, making sure the planter is set correctly. After that, your strip till is your first operation before planting, and that's the one that makes your planter set. The way you're gonna, I mean, the way the way you're gonna get your seed in your ground, um, but you also have to tend your planter to that too. So change your settings um, across the planter um, throughout planting season. Um, precision technology um, with the you know the guidance to the to the precision planning to the monitors that we have to the drones to the uh, aerial imagery, uh, soil moisture probes, everything we use. That's uh, huge keys to our operation. Uh, we're getting a lot out of um, being RTK with the system. Uh, we're getting a lot out of uh, farm mobile tracking. Uh, we're getting a lot out of CropZilla. Showing our uh, cost per acre, uh, per field, um, per crop. We know what's going to make us money. What's not going to make us money um, via op per operation. So, and, and track all that. So, yeah, um, we we were running uh, deer precision for many many years. Um, we switched up um, tractors, but um, I want to go back to say that our uh, Trimble dealer salesman was there even though we didn't need him. Um, he would just stop by and say, hey, if you ever need me and, you know, I didn't see a point at a certain time and, you know, finally when we made that switch on equipment, um, said, hey, what do you got for me? And he was able to show me what he had, um, you know, and, you know, he never knew if I would switch or not, but he was there for me. And once I said that, he brought a package together, and I was like, hey, let's do it. You've got what I need, and there's a great relationship there. He, he helped the transition into another brand of equipment be easier. Because if, if he wouldn't have been there and I wouldn't have known what I could do, it wouldn't have been so easy to do. But he was there. You know, before I did the swapping of, you know, trading out of the, of the previous system, the previous uh, manufacturer, you know, I asked him, what can you do for me? And he was there and he says, this is what we can do and made the transition easier.